guys, this is Greg Doyle for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. It is prediction time. Fight I want to talk to you guys about takes place Saturday the 19th of June. It is for the WBO, WBA and IBF World Lightweight titles. It is between the champion Teofimo Lopez, who is 16 and 0, and he takes on George Cambosis, who is 19 and 0. Guys, thank you so much for coming back and tuning into another prediction video. In this video, as always, I will give you a brief background into both guys' most recent fights. I will give you my keys to victory. And finally, I will give you my prediction. So, let's start off with the champion, Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez, um, I think he took us all completely by surprise um, in his last fight. But it took me by surprise anyway, and I like to think that I can read a fight well. I thought Vasily Lomachenko would win and you know like you just have to admire the balls on Teofimo Lopez the way he went in and fought Lomachenko I don't think Lomachenko looked himself that night there could be reasons behind that we've heard about a shoulder injury but take nothing away from Teofimo Lopez he looked tremendous and you know I was so impressed with him I think it was his bravery I was impressed with the most because Nobody's even came close to barely taking rounds from Lomachenko. Yeah, Linares gave him a, a, a few scares, put him down here and there. Um, but most fights, you don't even really see him dropping many rounds at all. And, you know, I was really, really impressed. I didn't think I could be any more impressed with Teofimo Lopez after the knockout in the previous fight um, against Richard Comey. What a shot. What a shot. Time to perfection. And he landed the shot about this much before um, Richard Comey got him but that's the difference between a world class fighter and an elite fighter that amount of time that distance it can be judged so I'm really looking forward to seeing Teofimo Lopez back on um, Saturday the 19th he takes on George Cambosis George Cambosis um, pretty well known in this country now after the, the tight win over Lee Selby very good fight I just think at times that George Cambosis outworked Lee Selby and you know I would have liked to have seen Lee Selby at super featherweight instead of jump from feather to lightweight but he was obviously killing himself to make the weight and things but I was impressed by George Cambosis that night because you see these guys coming over sometimes with these impressive records they don't live up to what the record suggests but he'd also been coming off a really impressive win over uh, Mickey Bay and the fight beforehand uh, with Lee Selby. So, you know, I'm really impressed with George Cambosis and again, he just seems like a guy that's, he's just not scared. You don't expect many boxers to be scared, but from previous experience, when I had my own amateur career, you, you've got these nerves and you've got these doubts before, you know, you go to the ring. You'll see it with some guys like, like for example, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson used to, cry sometimes before he walked to the ring he, he was that nervous but I don't see it in these two guys I think they really really believe in theirself and when two guys believe in theirself it makes for an incredible fight incredible fight but guys if I can move over on to keys to victory um, keys to victory for Teofimo Lopez I think he needs to time George Kambosis I think he needs to understand that George Kambosis is a busy fighter so if George Cambosis is going to throw lots of shots, Teofimo Lopez just needs to take a step back, maybe throw a right hand, left uppercut on the way in, keep him thinking, but try and time him. I think timing is going to be very important for Teofimo Lopez in this fight. Use his skill set and time George Cambosis. Make him think about when he wants to come in and throw these six and seven shots that he did with Lee Selby. Um, keys to victory for George Cambosis. I think he needs to smother Teofimo Lopez, um, do a lot of work inside, try and push him around, throw lots of shots to the body, mess him around inside and try and maybe establish a nice jab, um, but be very careful when he's establishing that jab that he's judging the distance as well as he can and he'll not get caught with a counter. But I think he needs to smother him um, and yeah, throw lots of shots on the inside and try and upset Lopez.
But guys, over and on to prediction time, you know, I do think it's an interesting fight because I think both guys are hungry. Um, but one fighter just showed me in the last fight that they're elite when I didn't... I feel quite silly because I didn't really see Teofimo Lopez as elite. I seen him as a very, very good kid who had a lot to learn. But that performance against Lomachenko was just so, so mature. So mature. So, guys, I'm going to pick um, Teofimo Lopez to beat George Cambosis. I think he could time him perfectly with a counter and knock him out. And that's where I'm probably leaning most towards. But I do see him winning. And even if it goes to points, I see him winning very, very convincingly indeed. So, guys, my prediction, Saturday, the 19th of June, the WBO, the WBA, the IBF World Lightweight Titles is for Teofimo Lopez to beat George Cambosis. Greg Doyle, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Check out all of our social platforms. Please subscribe down below. I'll be back to speak to you guys again next week. Take care. Thank you.